Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today I'm gonna show you guys these skins in Brawl Stars that have the most aura I've been a little sick the last couple days on the bottom right is a picture of my dog. He unfortunately passed away Yesterday morning and it's been a really rough week for my family My community has been so kind with the support in a really sad time So I just wanted to thank you guys very much. So let's get into it So there are a lot of skins with a lot of aura, but if we're starting off we have to start off with bell gold hand now i don't know how these skins work if they do come back in the game or don't i'm pretty sure they don't but bell gold hand was one of the earliest brawl pass skins and i mean it just has so much aura the golden sniper the suit it's like amazing she looks unreal now dragon bell is also a decent bell skin i don't think it competes with gold arm bell at all but dragon bell is pretty good so if you want a cool bell skin and you can't get that brawl pass skin then i would definitely get dragoon bell next we got to move on to rico and rico has a ton oops a ton of skins as you guys can see but if you guys have this this or this rico skin that is a lot of aura the super just looks so clean you look you look like a king when you're playing this rico and i don't even know what to say it's just one of the nicest skins if you load into a game and you have this as your skin People are going to be afraid. Loaded Rico is also a really nice skin. So if you don't have any of the other three and you can get Loaded Rico, I would definitely recommend getting this one. Now we're going to talk about Miko. And if you have Wukong Miko, you are definitely that guy. No, I do not want to play. I'm sorry. Miko does have a bunch of decent skins, but I don't think any of them at all compared to Wukong. And if you have the Wukong monkey, then you are locked in on the Miko. Now on to Spike, there are a few that are really good. Starting off with normal Spike. I mean, if you're just playing no skin Spike, you have Aura, you're good. Pink Spike as well, one of the original best skins of all time. Toon Spike though does take the crown when it comes to Aura because I mean, the cartoon noises, just everything that you have with Toon Spike is unreal. The super looks great. The shots look amazing. Every time you hit somebody, it just looks amazing. It sounds amazing. And I love the regular super. It looks so good. The sound effects sound so good. This skin does have a lot of aura. Moving on to Shelly. If you are some of the few that have star Shelly, then you are an absolute goat. If not, Bandita, Witch, and PSG Shelly are all insane. Classic Shelly also does the trick. If you want to look like a real Shelly player, I feel like you have to use one of those skins. Quad Buster Shelly also looks really good. So if you're playing any of those Shelly skins, you definitely do have an aura boost and your profile does go up a lot. If you're a Shelly on any other skin, you kind of look a little bit lost. I'm not going to lie. So I would probably get one of these skins. Now, Pika, you're not going to like this, but Bull does not have any aura skins. Nita's kind of a weird one. Nita is kind of a weird one. Well, Nita, people will think it's goofy. I think it's insane. Panda Nita is really good. Red Nose Nita. I think any Nita where the bear gets customized is really good. You know, now that I'm realizing it every single time the bear gets customized. So you know what? I guess for Nita, every Nita skin has aura. Even the original Nita skin does look pretty sick. There are a lot of brawlers in the game that just don't have aura with any skins. So we're not including them. But Poco is definitely not one of them. If you have Serenade Poco, I mean, that is just the absolute one of just the best skins in the game. I mean, this Poco skin is so good. Desperado Poco is also pretty good. CCTV Poco is pretty good. And Star Park Poco, of course, is beautiful. But I would really avoid playing Trash Poco or Pirate Poco because then it just looks like you're a little bit lost. Now, personally, I run Classic No Skin Penny, but Lil Helper Penny is also a great skin. I don't like Smuggler Penny or Moon Cursor Penny at all. I think they're just too round, if that makes sense. Like the head is just way too round. But Trash Panda Penny, Dark Bunny Penny, and Bunny Penny are all very valid as well. I don't want to admit to this, but Zeta World Champion Gus also has a ton of aura. And if you're playing Stu and you're playing anything but Superstar Stu, you should probably rethink your decision because this is by far and away the greatest Stu skin. Some of you might think it's Jock Stu, but I bet a lot of you didn't know this. The more animated and the more crazy the skin, the slower your brawler is actually going to be. Now, it's not like their movement speed is going to be slower, but the shots come out a little bit slower. You glide a little bit slower on Stu. It's the same thing for Mortis. For Mortis, there are a lot of crazy skins, such as Demon Mortis. But if you're playing on Demon Mortis, you're going to move a lot slower than you would on a Silver Mortis or Rogue Mortis or Night Witch Mortis. I mean, any Mortis. The crazier the skin, 
the slightly more difficult it is for the game to run and the slightly slower you're going to move. So when it matters for what skins have the most aura, I would also want them to be as simple as they can be, like Streetwear Max. There's nothing crazy going on with Streetwear Max, but a lot of aura, W skin, everyone good at max for the most part uses Streetwear Max. I do have to say though, Hermes Max is insane and I think this is a nuts skin. Talking about skins with aura, you cannot make a video without including Zeus Brock. The thunder that comes from the sky with the super is just absolutely insane. And I would buy the skin just for that. But there's also thunder on the regular shot. So, I mean, this is just insane. The lightning, the thunder, everything about Zeus Brock is such a W. And I would 100,000% buy this skin. Guys, unfortunately, I don't think any Lu skin has a lot of aura. Maybe Smooth Lu, but I'm not a big fan of any of the Lu skins. Now, Jean has a lot of interesting skins with a lot of different color variations, but to be honest, all of them are valid besides Swamp Jean. Swamp Jean is just like, look at him. Like, what is bro even doing? If you bought Swamp Jean and this is the only Jean skin you have, you could not have made a worse mistake. I mean, I understand skins is about what you like, not about what other people like. And I can't tell people what they think looks good and what they think doesn't. But when you see a pirate Jean, an evil Jean, a gold gene, even a dark samurai gene. You're like, yo, this guy knows what he's doing. But when you see this goofy dude come out of the water, you're like, oh my God, am I really about to get free trophies? Next up, we have Sprout. And I think Emerald Prince Sprout and Ruby Prince Sprout are easily the two best Sprout skins by a mile. Now, Aquamarine Sprout is also pretty good. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's any better than Ruby Prince or Emerald Sprout whatsoever. But you know what? It looks good, so I'm going to buy it with some of the bling I have. Next up, we have Otis, and honestly, Otis has a lot of really cool skins. I don't know even how to say this word. I'm going to try Farah Otis. I think it's the correct way to say it, but that skin has a lot of aura. Oni Otis or Ani Otis has a lot of aura, and even Demon Otis looks insane. So to be honest, any Otis skin and you're looking pretty dangerous. Now, there's a lot of brawlers where I just rock the no skin. Buster is definitely one of them. I also do the same on Rosa, Larry, and Surge. You know, Surge is a little bit of a weird one because at low levels, there's so many level one Surges. But honestly, I think base Surge by far has the most aura out of all of these skins, especially Monkey Surge. Now, there are a lot of brawlers that have insane skins that we didn't talk about, starting off with Yeti Sam. There are a lot of good Sam skins, but I don't think any of them even come close to Yeti Sam. Yeti Sam just has insane aura, just like the GOAT Rodeo Hank does. You know, at first I wasn't convinced, but Spen and his entire community convinced me that Rodeo Hank probably has the most aura out of all the Hank skins, if not out of all the skins in the game. Now, I do think the SpongeBob skins do have a lot of aura, but specifically on Daryl, I also like Dumpling Daryl a lot. Like Dumpling Daryl is an insane skin. I'm currently using the SpongeBob skins, but if you have Dumpling Daryl, you know how to buy skins. This is a very W purchase. Mr. Krabs Tick, of course, has a lot of aura, but if you don't like Mr. Krabs Tick, I also just like King Crab Tick. Those are both of the Tick skins, if I do play Tick, which I don't, that I would be running. But again, we're going with the SpongeBob skins as of late. Just like with Jesse, with Sandy Jesse, this is one of, if not the best skin in the game. Like, this is a really good skin. You have Gary the Snail as a turret, and then Sandy herself as Jesse, which is just insane. That is such a good skin. Next up, we have BB, and BB has a ton of aura skins, to be honest. Heroin BB is one of the best skins in the game. Even BB RJ is like sneaky, a good skin. And then Thor BB is obviously insane. Any of these skins are a really big W to run on BB. On Colette, you guys may have a little bit of a disagreement as I do, but I do not like Pinku Paulette or Midori Paulette. I do low-key like Kiro Paulette. I don't know why I like her more than I like the other two, I just do. My favorite though is definitely Navigator Colette. She is basic, she is clean, she's been in the game for a long time, and I think the skin is just really awesome. For Amber, I think Amber de la Vega is a great skin, but at the same time, if you want some good aura, Frost Queen Amber is also insane. Patrick Star Buzz, I mean, how could you even complain? Patrick Star Buzz is one of the best skins of all time. Now, personally, I used to run No Skin Buzz because I think No Skin Buzz is a lot better than Born Bad, Buzzette, Director, or Kaiju Buzz. All four of these Buzz skins are definitely also completely valid. But let's be real, nothing comes close to Patrick Star Buzz. 
I personally run no skin Draco because Draco the dragon just looks insane. I think the no skin setup is so clean. And finally on Crow, we're gonna have to talk to Lex about this one for sure, but there is definitely a lot of options. I think Crowbone is by far the most dangerous looking, and if I'm facing a Crowbone Crow, I know I'm in trouble. For Sandy, Lantern Sandy definitely has the most aura, but at the same time, I think Nightmare Sandy is also really good. You guys might think I'm sus, but Bunny Grom and Dusty Scrum are beautiful skins, and I think either of these are unreal and have a ton of aura. For my 10k brawler Frank, I of course think Gold Frank has a ton of aura, but DJ Frank and Spirit Knight Frank are just so, so cool. Specifically Spirit Knight Frank. This is one of my favorite skins in the game. For Dinah, there's a lot of good skins. I personally go with Santa Mike. No skin Dinah is also really clean. But Spicy Mike, Coach Mike, PSG Mike, Classic Mike, Tengu Mike, and Dynasty Mike are all aura filled skins. I would just avoid Moldy Mike or Robo Mike because you gotta be pretty sus to run those skins. And last but not least, for my main brawler, Piper. I love Pink Piper the most. I don't know why. It's just a very simple skin and I think it fits Piper well. But if you have a Cupid Piper, a Lunar Piper, Mariposa Piper, or Flag Bearer Piper, your Piper definitely also has a lot of aura and you are 100% a Piper main, I could just tell. So that's gonna be it for my video on which brawlers have the most aura. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. But that's going to be it for me today, and I'll see you guys again later. Peace.